that, that, that's a lot of fun, you guys. Uh, I, I especially like seeing the arcade style of it. If anybody who's um, you know, of, of my age, you know, who all kind of grew up like in the arcade like that, going and seeing that is just awesome. You know, and we're going to be that, that generation of you know, Atari lovers who are going to be trying to escape people from on. So that's cool. Um, he's really fast. You know, for an old guy. I mean, he moves pretty quick. I want to maybe see him be a little more like kind of handicapped in that way, so it's a little more of a struggle for him to get out. I guess maybe be a little more resourceful or thoughtful or strategic in that way. But um, but that's just one minor minor point on the side of something that's really creative and, and a lot of fun. Um, and uh, we talked a little bit about like combat feedback, so you know, the pills spilling everywhere and, uh, and the idea of different tools and being able to use the environment that's uh, that's created. Um, yeah. And plus, I, I love seeing something that like lets you be at the top of a high score, so we can start. Well, that was interesting, a commercial for the Elden Um it, it was quite interesting because I would enjoy it. It felt sort of like Hot Fire Miami just 40 years later. Um, and I got the feel that's what the thing you were going for. Um, I really enjoyed it. It was a very complete game. Uh, the only two things I'd say are I'm kind of uh, banging the drum again, but uh, to do with text being hard to read. Uh, the tutorials were a bit painful. So. Especially love the line in uh, the line of white text going along the uh, white line on the uh, table tennis table. It's sort of a perfect example. Um, also, the red and blue text. No, it's it's it, you can tell that something's there, but it's really hard to read at this distance. I would suggest seeing as a lot of the background seems to be black. You know, seems to be dark or black. Also, a bit lighter. You know, it would you know it's what that uh, hot man as well. It's that you know every time you play the game, it feels like you're either burning or you have to read everything on there. I thought it was really cool and I love the artwork. Um, I, I guess my main comment would be along the lines of things like do they have to kill the workers in the in the uh, elderly home or just knock them out instead? Um, or they disintegrate. I assume that looks like a pile of pills with so much left behind. Yeah, it's, uh, um, it's funny, but at the same time, it's like, um, I mean, I, I know a lot of elderly people would like I totally agree with what you're going for in this game. Um, but I also know people who work in elderly homes would say, hey, this is not cool, we're not that bad. So I guess what I'm getting at is that if there's a reason, like an underlying core motivation, why does he want out? Is he wanting out just because he doesn't want to be there? Or is he wanting out because there's something more nefarious going on in that particular place? Like the one who, the people who run this place is using the elderly for experiments, or I don't know, I'm just saying, you know, what, what's his compelling reason to get out other than just to get out? I mean, what would compel him to kill people to get out is kind of what I'm getting at. I, this game reminds me a lot of Gold, which was my yeah. favorite game story that was, a, that was fun. Uh, I thought the uh, enemies were themed in a really fun way, like uh, throwing the pills in different, uh, different trajectories and whatnot. Uh, the player attacks were really cool. Um, I thought the, uh, the character animations in particular were really well done. Uh, I would second the point about the subtitles, like consider putting a background behind them so it can work regardless of what's been screened up. Uh, yeah, overall, good job. I also really like the soundtrack. Uh, so, coming from a mechanic standpoint, again, really good work there, both breadth and depth uh, for each mechanic. Uh, I really enjoyed the feedback. Uh, for the combat system, uh, that, that really caught my attention. I thought, okay, I can go from focusing here to here to here without applying much thought to it. Uh, the artwork really reinforced uh, that you're an old folks home. I really felt engaged with the character. The, the theme was ever present in my life, so that was a really good touch there. Um, I will also hop on the text. Uh, that's something that I see a lot of uh, when I see these sorts of development projects. Uh, even sometimes uh, just making the font a little bit wider, more like a bold or impact kind of font, can, uh, can make a lot of good headway in that direction to make it more visible. Uh, I will note, though, that for your uh, dialogue interaction, when you showed us where it zoomed in and worked with the uh, 90s Correctional Officer, I thought that was a perfect setup for uh, the kind of text you want to see as an overlay. So excellent work there. All right. Thank you guys.